from Kringle Media in Johannesburg, this is The Real Economy Report. Local waste management company Interwaste, as the Share Environment Group company, has launched its 100 million rand leachate and effluent treatment plant in Delmas in Mpumalanga. The company describes the plant as the first of its kind in South Africa, noting that it marks a step forward in environmental stewardship and resource recovery. Sabrina Jardim tells us more. Amid water shortages in South Africa, Interwaste says its leachate and effluent treatment plant marks a key opportunity to actively drive innovative ways to support South Africa's water conservation requirements as well as address the water shortage facing the country. So I think in South Africa we're a, we're a water scarce nation and I think the challenge for us is to make sure that we, we best utilise um, the resources that we have. Water being a critical element, a critical resource. Um, and I think industry um, has a large role to play in how we better and how we more responsibly make use of water um, to ensure the sustainability going forward um, and that communities and business have access um, to continue living and manufacturing. Water reticulation as a result um, is going to become increasingly important. Um, we have limited resources. Um, operations are no longer allowed to draw the type of water that they were drawing in the past. Um, and in order to still meet their manu manufacturing obligations, uh, they're going to have to look at systems to reticulate and recirculate water that they've used in a process prior. Um, and circular economy type innovations such as the plant that we've just invested in now um, seek to address at least in some part um, the water crisis that we have and reticulate back into the system water which can be used again in the manufacturing process. The company says that the interwaste leachate and effluent treatment plant represents a paradigm shift in the treatment and processing of various liquid waste streams and is designed to accept and treat various effluent waste across two categories. These include leachate produced by Interwaste's own facilities or other waste disposal facilities and liquid waste streams from various industries such as manufacturing, mining, oil and gas. And for us, there are two main reasons why we decided to, to embark in this project. On one hand, we identified that there was a gap in terms of um, leachate management solutions in the country, but also we wanted to be fully autonomous in terms of managing our own leachate. Uh, because on, from our side, this is our commitment uh, to demonstrate that we only operate waste management facilities in a sustainable way and having a solution, and a, an efficient and sustainable solution for, uh, for, uh, for leachate is one of these purposes. On the second hand, on the other hand, um, we also wanted to address some of the needs and requirements from our clients, which are also looking for uh, efficient liquid waste treatment solutions for the ways that they are uh, generating. The plant boasts advanced technologies that treat these waste streams, including 43 million litres of effluent a year, and also recovers 80 to 90% as clean, reusable water. The company says the clean water produced by the plant exceeds the Department of Water and Sanitation safe discharge limits and will produce around 36 million litres of clean water a year. The Interwaste Leachate and Effluent Treatment Plant employs a multi-stage treatment process that ensures the efficient removal of contaminants while maximizing water recovery. By using cutting-edge technologies and adhering to stringent quality standards, the company says that the plant sets a new benchmark for environmentally responsible waste treatment. The Effluent Treatment Plant uh, facility is our commitment to ensure and to develop the economy, the circular economy solutions that contributes positively to our environment and also to our natural resources, and in this case, water. The, finally, the effluent treatment plant solutions and benefits are also aligned with the group strategies to promote and to develop sustainability through the circular economy, the reduction of carbon emissions, reduction of water usage, and the promotion of uh, biodiversity, which is at the heart of the Sashia Group. The interwaste treatment plant is also designed with sustainability in mind. The company says that minimal waste generation and responsible chemical usage are integral aspects of its operation, further underscoring interwaste's commitment to environmental stewardship and reaffirming its position as a leader in innovative waste management solutions. So our expectations of this particular plant, uh, number one, first and foremost, is to meet our own requirements in terms of treating leachate 
um, which is a result of a landfill management operation. Um, it's part of the responsible care process um, and the plant has specifically been designed to meet our internal treatment requirements. There is additional capacity which is available to industry. Um, we have made that uh, capacity available to industry um, and that falls in line with the zero waste or zero liquid waste to landfill ban uh, which was implemented in 2019. So there's huge demand for a facility such as this. Um, we will continue to take products like this to market. Uh, I personally believe that this will be the first of many. Um, and I think in, just in terms of the waste management or environmental sector across South Africa. Anchored fundamentally in the principle of managing its manufacturing processes, Conveyor Belt Solutions manufacturer and supplier True Truck Rollers ongoing investments in state-of-the-art technology and its adherence to strict international quality standards underscore its commitment to excellence. Simone Litka, who visited the facility, tells us more. Based in Centura in South Africa, True Tracks facility combines in-house manufacturing, R&D, and a commitment to cultivating a progressive workplace culture. This strategy, according to CEO Sean Bloomberg, has reinforced the company's status as a comprehensive solutions provider in the conveyor solutions sector. You know, over the last, what is it, close on 30 years, we've developed a, a comprehensive basket of uh, conveyor components manufactured locally um, and uh, we, we also not only do we supply product but the business has evolved to, to be sort of a, a solution of a turnkey uh, solution provider so I think the the market has changed and evolved and uh, where we are today is that customers demand you know a solution not a product in isolation and um, this, the skills that we've developed and worked very hard to develop is you know, the technical expertise in-house to, to assist customers by adding value uh, to enhance their convey operations, address their problem or prevent problems and working in partnering with them um, to, to um, increase the productivity on their conveyor belts. The company also aims to maintain a cycle of continuous improvement and commitment to people thereby ensuring that operations are not only efficient and sustainable, but also beneficial to the broader community. A core aspect of True Track's operational philosophy is fostering a positive work culture that values happiness and job satisfaction among employees, which True Track GM Franco Kluter elaborates on for us. When we talk about manufacturing, um, it's, it's critical to, to say it's easy to buy a machine. Anybody can buy a machine and buy a factory. So it's all about the culture of the business and, and the people of the business. So that is really our main focus because everything else is, is plug and play. So I would like to just elaborate a bit on, on that and how we do things. So yeah, I think for us, um, we've got a motto that we will be successful if people come to work and they're happy and they like what they do. And to be able to do that, it's actually quite a few things that's involved. So. Yeah, so we really try and mentor people um, and actually do inspirational messages to, to actually try and also um, uplift people and also have a different perspective of life. So positive go-getter attitudes is critical for us. I think we are a business that's very fast moving, fast paced and it is critical to be solutions orientated. Uh, we encourage uh, challenging the status quo. We're very open for new innovations. Um, we empower people uh, to make uh, uh, changes to, to their environment. We encourage it. And we actually do give guys the necessary tools to, to be able to do that. So we're not scared in sharing information um, to the different uh, teams. Um, and that's access to uh, uh, when preventive maintenance is happening, access to drawings, uh, live access, um, access to interdepartmental, access to different uh, procurement. And so, yeah, it's a whole holistic system that needs to run together. And we're very focused on not building silos. So if there's a problem in the business, it's everybody's problem. And sometimes four or five departments need to get involved to get things uh, resolved. And you know, that's a type of of culture we nurture where if there's a problem um, nothing is too big to assist and it's if it's not a departmental problem it's a business problem so and, and that's that's really how we 
how we uh, encourage people to, to look at it. Apart from its after-sales support, the company also prides itself on being able to deliver a successful quality product. Kluter explains in more detail. To do all of this, you need, you need uh, certain, certain things, and one of it is machines and equipment. And yeah, so that's, that's, that's part of it, to be able to fulfill a successful uh, uh, quality product, which we, we, we are very serious about. And um, so yeah, so uh, we've got a culture of investing uh, for, for lo long term. We're very concerned about sustainability. Um, and uh, we're not scared to invest in South Africa. We believe we've got good people here. There's good skills here. And um, yeah, we, we are exporting to, uh, distributing in 80 different countries. And yeah, and, and we are competitive and, and living uh, of the highest quality uh, products in, into these markets. So um, machines, we, we regularly evaluate uh, latest trends in, in, in machines and technology. We have secured quite a, a few uh, additional processes. If we look at what we've onboarded just in the last 18 months is uh, new business units where we started uh, laser flatbed laser cutting in-house, uh, tube laser cutting in-house, um, bending, um, sandblasting. We actually bought out a CNC business as well. So all those processes uh, we, we take on board and why, why we do it is that we believe we've got a, a good uh, management team and supervisors and uh, high efficiency culture. So we believe we can in, bring processes in-house and do it effectively and cost effectively. That's Creamer Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy. And don't forget to listen to the audio version of our Engineering News daily email newsletter.